I'd love to extend to you a little bit of a challenge. I don't know what's on your agenda for September, but hopefully you're going to be doing your nails in that time frame. And if you are, I really, really, really hope you join me in the He Picks My Polish Challenge. Uh, how it works. Gather your nail polishes. Have a guy of your choosing pick one to three polishes. Um, you cannot influence him. Um, be like, oh, well, those colors don't match. Mm -mm, none of that. You show him where your polish stash is. I don't care if you have five polishes or a 500 polishes. Point him in the right direction, keep your mouth shut, and let him pick. He can pick whatever he wants. That's just, that's just how it works. Okay, so you're going to have one to three polishes that he's picked out for you. Now it's your turn to go to work. Now you can use a base coat of your choosing because hopefully if you have a neutral base coat, it won't show through with your final design. A clear top coat is of course okay because we want these obviously awesome looks to last, okay? So you can use those, but nothing else. So you've got one to three polishes that may look like a hot mess or may look fabulous. I'm not gonna know until you tag it. But in the meantime, you have to try your darndest to make the coolest nail art look you can. Now you could do a Skittle, um, which is like, you know, different colors on each nail. You could do a water marble, you could do a gradient, I don't care what you do. You could do a 3D sculptural whatever, I don't care, I don't, you know. We're just trying to get people out of their comfort zone and mix it up a little bit. Um, use polishes in your stash that maybe you haven't used in ages, but you probably should have because you don't want to be wasteful now. So anyways, you do your nails. They look probably awesome, possibly like a hot mess. It's entirely possible. You share them. If you're a blogger, we're going to have an in-links code going. I'll have a link down below to, um, to all of that details. You could share on Facebook pages, um, Twitter, anywhere. Just hashtag he picks my polish. Um, we do have a group going with myself and a few other um, nail polish bloggers uh, for people who are into this type of challenge. Uh, just he picks my polish and just you know mixing it up doing something a little different you're welcome to join i'll have that link in the blog post listed below if you're interested in joining you're of course more than welcome you do not have to be a polish blogger beauty blogger any blogger whatever to participate um you can put hashtags anywhere people so pinterest facebook um twitter instagram wherever we'd love to see it I'd love to see it on my page if you come share it with me so I can see it quick, quick, quick. Um, I'm always on there. Um, but anywhere you share it is fine. Okay, so this brings into question the guy or the he and he picks my polish. So let me show you this slide that has a little bit more information that might help clear up some things for you. So the guy. And he picks my polish, the he is kind of important. So let's clear up all of the details that go with that. It could be any guy. Anybody who falls under a he type category is fine. Now it could be your dad, it could be your husband, it could be your brother, it could be your next door neighbor. I mean, it doesn't matter who it is. Um, if you're really, really short on people for whatever reason the entire month of September, somehow you can't find somebody, you're welcome to try going to the store and having a random guy there pick them out for you. You'll probably get some crazy looks, but have them pick a couple polishes out, buy them, and take them home, and then come tell me on Twitter or Facebook or something that you went and found somebody at the store, because I would love to hear how that turns out. And honestly, if you explained it to them, I'd love to see what they picked out, because I think that could be potentially awesome. Anyways, a man of your choosing. It could be your three-year-old nephew, still a dude, you know, so doesn't matter. Pick somebody, have them go to town, going through your polishes, and find something for you. You can tell them if you want what's going on. Um, that might be more of like a challenge accepted type thing for some guys, so it might make it more interesting. On the other hand, they might just be like, mm, whatever, here's some polishes. So Okay, 
think I got everything. Um, if you have any questions, not sure what's going on, um, something was unclear, you're welcome to drop comments down below or on any of my social media outlets. I'm pretty good about keeping up with that. Um, I think I covered everything. This challenge for right now is going to be September, but obviously um, we're going to do it again in the future, but we just really, really wanted September to be like a He Picks My Polish month. So the more the merrier. Uh, I really, really, really hope you join. Uh, tell your girlfriends, your mom, whoever. The two images that I use in this apparently unnecessarily long video uh, are going to be on a blog post on my blog, which I'll of course have the details down below. And I'll share them on Facebook and I'll probably put them up on Pinterest and anywhere else I can think of so that way you have easy access to them. You can keep sharing them, keep pinning them, and really getting all of your girlfriends and maybe guy friends if they're, I don't know how many guys volunteer for this, but I'm sure somebody out there does. Um, share away. You know, let's see how many people we can get on this uh, He Picks My Polish crazy challenge. And I really, really, really look forward to seeing uh, what everybody creates. So, yeah, game on. Let's do this.